Hello everyone, and welcome to the Nomadic Fanatic Newsroom. During these difficult times, we're doing our part to conserve bandwidth by going black and white to save you energy. As well as cropping to a 4-3 aspect ratio to save your TV energy consumption. And lastly, I'm not wearing pants. Welcome to the studio. We begin tonight's broadcast with a look at weather. Joe Dirt Eric is standing by with a full weather report. It's raining cats and dogs out here. Oh, man. This counts as a bath. <laughs> Wonderful. We'll uh, check back later with a more in-depth look at weather. Looking into sports, Jax the Cat trains for the world-famous Cat Fetching Championship held right here in Illinois next month. You want to play fetch? Remember how to play fetch? Go. Bring it here. You gotta drop it over here though. You gotta drop it all the way over here. Okay, ready? Now I want you to bring it back here this time. Bring it here. Right here. Drop it. Good boy. Good job, Jax. Ready? Now I'm gonna throw it again. Ready, go. That's one amazing cat. Way to go, Jax. What a fantastic world we live in, guys. How about let's check in with traffic from Cousin Eddie Eric. That's an RV, Clark! That's an RV, Clark! That's an RV, Clark! That, that's great, that's great. My name's Eric, by the way, though. How's the actual traffic, Eddie? The interstates are full! Okay, okay. Jax, have you checked our interstates? Okay. Lastly, let's check in with Thug Life Eric for a report from the east side. Oh well, yeah, Eric, we just had our sixth drive-by of the day. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. That's a lot of drive-bys. How is everybody? Oh, no, no, no. We're doing a drive-by donation charity fun run here, getting everybody to uh, donate. We've already raised over $400 here in Madison County. Doing really well. Things are, things are good. I see. Wonderful. It's going to be a long day. But not live from Illinois. It's Saturday morning. Welcome, everybody. Doesn't really seem like it should be that much grass, but it adds up all the way around the house. Whew, oh boy, home ownership, that's fun. I can't wait to leave and have my lawn guy come do it. <laughs> nah, the only thing uh, I'm not too excited about is the whole Frontier thing, as you know, that whole saga. Uh, I had to pay $75 out of pocket for that installation, and I guess that's how they scam people around here in Illinois. They make promises, and then they don't even give you one megabit per second uploads or downloads, and then they leave this wire here for a month. Okay, so I, I called them, and they said that they have no intention of doing anything. They came out, they surveyed, 
they put all their little flags so they know where water and gas and media and everything is and then they just leave it on the ground. I mean, I propped it up on the hangar out there, but now they have no intention of coming out, I guess, because it's been nearly a month now. And I mean, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. That's why. Yeah, so again, I just kind of twisted it up here to, to get it off the lawn. But even when the guy came, he's like, yeah, there's, there's like all this wire just sitting here. Somebody just cut it from last time and just kind of left it here. So that's why he had to run new wire all the way up the post. And you know, I, I'm, I'm over it. It's, it's no biggie. Frontier got me. They have got everybody else in this neighborhood who uh, didn't have any other options, but we do have options. Like I said, I talked to all my neighbors and they all said hotspot is the only way to go. Cellular Wi-Fi around here is incredible. Like 40 to 50 megabits per second upload and download with cellular Wi-Fi. So it is what it is, but I got the yard looking all good and <laughs> let's go inside. Yeah, so it, it was getting warm in the house and uh, it wasn't really my intention to, to take care of the, uh, air, the air conditioning issue this year. I was going to do it next summer, but since I'm spending some time here into my birthday now, like June 5th, I just decided that it is, I, I'm not really used to the humidity. <laughs> uh, and I cannot believe it's this humid, like 90% humidity in Illinois. And uh, yesterday when it was 86 degrees outside, it was 89 degrees inside the house with windows and fans. I'm like, nope, like I didn't even think about it. I just, I went to Home Depot and I got me an air conditioner. I went with this uh, GE, oh my gosh, that's cool, 64. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a 12,000 BTU, regular standard outlet air conditioner. It's got eco mode and uh, it's the largest one I could get here in the kitchen. So this window is up as, as high as it will go, and then it's jammed in there and, and secured. So uh, basically this is just a temporary thing because it, like I said, it was, it was just too hot in here. It's a 550 square foot air conditioner. So it cools the kitchen, the living room, and part of the hallway really, really well. Uh, however, it's like there was some electrical things that I had to consider. Oh, sorry, that was too dark uh, because all the circuits that are on 20 amp breakers, you know, well, like for instance, I was gonna put the air conditioner here, but on the other side outside is where my RV is plugged in to 15 amp, and I'm gonna be running the air conditioner out there. On the same 20 amp circuit, that won't work. So I did have to put it over there where I checked to make sure that it's on a different breaker. And I determined after looking at all of these that these are not all correct. So I came up with my own list right there turned off every single one and tested every light and every outlet in the entire house and I have it written correctly. However, you may notice, okay, you've got the dryer right there. That is 30 amp dual breaker dryer right there. But look at this, nine and 11 is AC. 50 amp dedicated AC outlet, which is turned off right now. Well, that's cool. That means when the previous owners here upgraded that panel, they decided that instead of getting central air, they were going to get a up to 50 amp, 220 volt air conditioner in the house. Now, along with the furnace right here, it would have been great if it was centrally located, right? No. No, they installed the outlet way back here in the laundry room corner of the house as far away from the living room comfort area as possible. <laughs> so you got the washer and dryer and back here, although it's unplugged, uh, where is it? Down there is the dryer, 30 amp. And over here, this funky looking plug right there, that is the 50 amp, 220 volt air conditioner outlet where you would put an air conditioner up in this window. And I guess hopefully pray that all that, that all that air is gonna go out here and into the bedroom and the bathroom and somehow make its way all the way out here and cool all this area, which is never going to happen. So, you know, I, I had called RV Prepper Wayne and asked him about it and it's like, yeah, maybe it was they wanted a really powerful air conditioner back there and just a regular window AC unit up here. And, and that may be what it is. So. For right now, I got a system that works. I'm not actually sleeping in the bedroom back there. Jackson and I still got to the RV where the air conditioning's out there and it's comfortable. And for right now, this air conditioner is uh, gonna make it comfortable to be in the house and do some things in the house. Later on, this one may be moved to one of the bedrooms or something. And, and actually my ultimate goal here, years, years down the road, when I get a little more comfortable in the house, is to put in a mini split system 
one of those dual vent mini split systems on 220 volt plugged in back there with an outlet there and an outlet somewhere here. Yeah, so that's a, that's a future plan. <laughs> there is actually a reason why he chooses right here. I mean, I, I put his cat bed here, but he's here because the air conditioner vent blows right here. He's like, oh yeah, thanks dad. Thanks man, I like the AC in my face and my fur. Yeah. Anyway, just want to let you guys know I'm doing well. I'm taking care of some stuff. I'm making some, some birthday plans, having some friends come over. Still doing my Patreon uh, live streams over there on Patreon. Again, there's a link in the video description. You can join for as little as a dollar and join me for nightly live streams and interact and chat with me in there and I can answer your questions. Otherwise, everything stays the same here on YouTube, except I'm just kind of having some fun. You know what I mean? You happy, boy? All right. Jackson, I'll check back in in a few days. Y'all be well, stay cool. Bye, guys.